Welcome to our application software development ITS W3104 of Lab1. Now I am going to give the demo for Lab1 Java servlet. What is this lab? This lab is having one student HTML called student registration form. It is having three different fields. One is ID, integer, name is string, email is string. ID also we can make it integer. If they click register, immediately the action that means it will invoke the uh, student uh, server that means see this is the data once it is uh, click register button immediately it will invoke the server see that this is the url request uh, student server and it is uh, sent the parameter and the value then finally the server uh, reply that this is the information you entered this is id and this is your first name and this is the email how we are going to do we are going to use that means 8.2 and the java sdk is 8 this is the minimum requirement and we are going to use the server and glassfish 4.1 okay now what is the first step we are going to create the web application project name called lab1 how to do that file new project select the category java web of the project name called web application see that if you are using the mac then you can use shift n or this is a shortcut to move that now select the java category web uh, java web application from the java web category we are going to give the type lab1 because this is our first lab based on the servlet next say so don't select that use the dedicated folder this is not required for us now see the server is the glass for 7 point uh, sorry 4.1.1 and the java enterprise edition 7 web and this is a context path and we are not going to uh, we are going to, we are not going to create any enterprise application that's why we are not do that click next this is a framework we don't want because servlet uh, we are not going to use the java server faces any framework we are not going to use that's why I'm not selected. If you selected the framework, uh, then the project will be created based on the framework. Mainly you can see the difference in the index uh, page. If you click the framework, it is given as XHTML page. If you not uh, selected any framework, it will create index dot uh, HTML. You can see that because I'm not selected the framework, you can uh, find the project. Now see that the project is uh, created is name called lab1 now if you open the project there are uh, four uh, uh, folder available one is called web pages if you see that this is the index page the same thing only displayed here it is the, the default uh, index html pages show and this is the source package it is empty we are we don't have they don't have any and library it will because I, we have the jdk 1.8 and we have the server and the configuration file this is the MF file is shown. Now this is the step is over. Now first step for this uh, uh, for this program, first step we must create the student servlet. We are going to create what student servlet dot Java. What is uh, servlet program? Servlet program is a Java program. It is going to run only on the server if uh, the any request come from the client to run the servlet you know the life cycle of servlet <coughs> now if you are going to create servlet first in the source package we are going to create one java package called servlet okay next step after creating the java package servlet in the source package now what is the next step we are going to create one servlet how to create servlet program right click new go to others and just the category is web select servlet click next and what is the name of the servlet just to delete new and queue because we are going to give student servlet next step it is very important step add the information to the deployment descriptor therefore if any uh, that means any request come from the client through this xml it easily identify and run the servlet program once if i click immediately the student servlet program is created please note that we know that uh, what is the life cycle of servlet program if there is any request come from the client 
the servlet class is loaded after that it will create instance of servlet next step it will call the initial it will call the init method to initialize the values after that call service method it's very clear that we are not going to alter any service method you can alter only the do method but even though it since the net means what it is doing here do method also we are not going to alter this do method whether the do get or do post it is going to call another method called process request you know that do method can handle the two type of requests from the client either url or form was post can handle only the form request it is very clear therefore whatever it is we are going to update only in the form request what we are going to do in the process request mainly we are going to read the three different uh, input in the html file that is called id name and email okay therefore this is the thing how here inside the try that is already it is written the code is written it is it is the document type html header student servlet inside the body there is a header one here what we are going to do we are going to read the details to a string id equal to you know that uh, uh, request dot this is the uh, the parameter of uh, your do get or do post request dot get parameter okay get parameter the first one is called id okay this will return the what is id enter request is having all the information about the client we are going to create uh, three variable okay because uh, this id is the local variable this id refer to the box of student dot html here we are going to give name because the second one is called name obviously we cannot have the two variable names same and it's very clear we are going to use student that is a student id name and the last one is called email okay change this is email and inside also email now using this request parameter see the http server request we read the detail of id name and email of student uh, html file now we are going to change this uh, h1 this is a word you know that okay what is this uh, h1 if you refer our lab you have entered the details okay you have entered the detail here i'll add this is the header uh, header one that is it just comes in the board now after that out dot this is out means it is going right in the html file there is a response to the client out dot uh, print ln so we are going to do id id what id they are going to enter plus id okay this is id refer to the local variable and after that out dot print ln we are going to put one uh, break okay now we are going to repeat the same thing only change the uh, the parameter that is the first one is uh, name and here also name after that uh, what we are going to do after name we have email and here also email now see that once they invoke the, this uh, servlet class that means it will read the id name and email of the student html and finally it will print the id name and email okay now we'll move to the next step we are going to create the web page right link see that this is uh, step two uh, step three the th three step we completed uh, first we create the project second we create the servlet program and the third step that is the last step we are going to create the uh, index uh, student html that is new html page you can find that this is called student student dot html it's already given you don't need to select any folder automatically it will come in the web pages once if you click you can see the student html 
now change the title first step student registration student registration and here uh, you can give the header one or header three which uh, whatever you like you can use student registration form and close this uh, h3 and we will not use uh, any divide okay after that what is the next step uh, given here HTML student server student registration form add the form that means uh, we, we are going to add the form and you, this is the format this is first line we finish now we have three input and three three label and three input text and two ok button ok now see that here we have the palette suppose we don't have the palette go to the windows id tools palette palette will come here it will related to since it is html file it is having two things html and forms what we need the form just add the form here what is the name of the action action is called the student After that, uh, what we have student uh, here just add the input box. So, uh, what is the name of this input box? Is ID okay? Now, here if you want, you can make as a paragraph, it will be more uh, little uh, clear format will be displayed. Okay, that is why we are doing that. Just the copy of this one because uh, after that we have we are going to repeat uh, three things. Change here to name. Here you can put name. And this is email. Change here also email. Once we have the three input, now we are going to add the OK button that is called uh, what is the name of the ok button is uh, register ok of type this is also you can put the paragraph it will give a good format and you can add one more ok button this is for reset reset just now it's ready uh, either you can run or another option just start your server okay start the server if you make sure that uh, you have you know the correct uh, web address that is local host 8080 8080 and this is uh, and we put the lab one slash In the meantime, make sure that uh, your glassware server is ready. Yes, it's running. So it may work straight away. If not work, uh, we can run the program. Okay, in the worst case, see that since maybe it's not properly compiled, that's why it is coming like this. We want to make sure that it is correct or not. Just click this play button. Only first time required. After that, if you update anything. Okay, we, it may require to build uh, the program only one time after that you no need to right, see that it's uh, fine now you can view your id student html enter. see that we have the detail now i am going to enter the detail 2015 2931133 the name of the student is called onish and the email is oni rate of cas.edu.om just click register see that it's successfully registered you go back if you click reset it is done how the program is given once uh, if you enter the name 2015 293 1 293 the name of the person is Monish and email is at the rate of cas.edu.om once the click register 
this is a client you know that uh, client may be web browser or application or maybe another server it will send the request see that local host the server name port number and the directory and this is the name of the servlet what is the name of the servlet student servlet id it is given what is entered in the form and separated the, this parameter and value separated by the percent name ownish if they click immediately the server run the program and finally response as per the server what is as per the read the detail of the client entered and finally give the response as html displays in the client please note down here for client server everything same that is actually this is a two tier tier one is the client is our browser server also available in the same machine thank you very much for watching watching if you don't any doubt you can give the command box thank you very much